Southern Maverick has long been disengaged from petty issues such as West Indies team selection. <laughs> but I was listening to TVJ cricket analyst Chris Gale talking about the chances of German Blackwood getting back into the West Indies team. Listen this. I think with what is going on with the middle order, I think it's enough to get him back in the squad. I mean, in the 11, at the moment, I don't see him getting back in the 11, but I think to be a part of the set, the West Indies setup, I think he should be a part of it, but I'm not sure about the 11. <laughs> now, under normal circumstances, that would be sound analysis. But in current West Indies cricketing terms, Blackwood, based on his performances this season, merits a place in this West Indies batting lineup. This is not the 70s, 80s, and 90s when West Indies was a winning machine. A man who is already averaging 30 plus in test cricket and lost his place in the team, then proceeds to score 768 runs in eight games at an average of 51 plus, including five consecutive half centuries, six overall, including a 98, and then a big 248, the top run scorer by over 100 runs, outperforming all the other so-called big test batsmen. And you want to tell me, say, that man cannot get back into this West Indies team who can't beat nobody? <laughs> sure, and I don't want to ask me, but who am going to replace? Just put all of the names them in a hat. See them in a them already. <laughs> I'll pick out one. See that? Yes, he will. <laughs> he will play, replace this one. <laughs>